We all love the Read with Jenna book club picks, but this one is one of Jenna's favorites for sure. It's called The Many Daughters of Afong Boy. Oh, it's such a beautiful coming to America story mm. that begins with a real historical figure, Afong Moy, who was the first known Chinese woman to come to this country. It's the latest New York Times best-selling novel by Jamie Ford. Can we just say hello to our book club members too? <laughs> They've got questions for Jamie in a minute. But Jamie, first of all, you were the lead story of our show, Jamie, <laughs> because Jenna's uh, production company optioned your book into a movie. This must You're on the New York Times bestseller list. Everything's happening. What do you think about this next step for your book? Oh, I, I feel like Cinderella, and <laughs> the clock's never going to strike midnight. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm, and plus it's a secret that's a secret no longer. Yes. So people are always like, when are you going to make that into a show or a series? I'm like... Hmm. Yeah. We're going to make this oh, into a I'm television so series, and it's so awesome because, yeah. Jamie, I've been telling Hoda about this book mm -hmm. for a long time. I read it a long time mm -hmm. ago and about how it's really about generations of love. Yeah. Love passed down from mother to daughter to mother to daughter. Well, how did you decide to, to write this? Wow. Um, you know, I really think of myself not just as an author, but someone in the compassion creation business. And I mm -hmm. wanted to create a story that gave the reader's empathy muscles a workout. And there's nothing that does that like stories about family connectivity of mothers and their children and generations. And starting with Afong, who was this iconic person in the 1830s, and then following her legacy, we could redeem this whole family and follow them to a, a better point in time. Mm -hmm. I know. It. That is so beautiful because I think sometimes for all of us, we feel like there are things that are handed down to us that we oh, carry yeah. on, good and bad, and it's things that you have to sort through. How did you research this? <laughs> <laughs> there was the formal research, which yeah. involved reading a lot of you know scientific papers, which mm -hmm. are written for peer review, and then there's just the informal stuff that you just notice. Mm. Uh, my 12-year-old son, Taylor, <laughs> when he was 12, was suddenly obsessed with Van Halen, <laughs> and... <laughs> He's a 12-year-old <laughs> and not of that generation. Yeah. And I had never played Van Halen for him. But Van Halen was my first concert ever. And it was one of those moments I thought, okay, there's nature, there's nurture, and there's Van Halen. Something's <laughs> going on. No, epigenetics is part of this. Yeah. And it's for all sure. about this group of women mm -hmm. who are the daughters of Afa yeah. and what they carry. And then there's set in the future this very cool epigenetics, which is a real thing. Will you just explain briefly mm -hmm. what it is? Yeah, there was a wonderful study, profound study in 2013 at Emory University where they showed that with lab animals, they followed this transmission of one specific trauma across three and four generations. Mm. And it's something that I think in, in therapeutic circles, therapists mm. have talked about this. In Native American communities, they've talked about living with generational trauma mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. But it was the first time in a laboratory environment that they really could prove that something was actually happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's so good. It's so, very cool. So many people have so many questions for you because yeah. you're beloved <laughs> by many. Uh, the first question is from Kate uh, Saisky in New Jersey. Kate, I hope I pronounced your name right. Uh, what is your question for Jamie? Good morning, everybody. Our Thunder Road book staff loved this story. And Jamie, each of your characters has their own story to share. Of all the characters that you created, which character do you most identify with? Um, the one I identify, and, and thank you, that's a wonderful question. Yeah. The one I identify most with is Greta. It's a contemporary character, but she works for a tech company. And I'm, you know, I was always kind of a turbo geek. Um, <laughs> when, when I was 14 years old, I went to community college to study computer programming. Um, and, of course, I thought everyone I'm in the class with were 90 years old, even though they were probably 28 <laughs> years old. And eventually I dropped out, and I became this uh, rare 14-year-old college dropout. But in the book, Greta says, I'm polynomial in a non-polynomial world. And that's how I felt, not just as a kid, but also being biracial, where you never quite fit into either mm -hmm. realm. And so I just sympathize with her a lot. Mm -hmm. I love Greta. She's one of my favorites. Okay, the next question is from Jenny Burkhard, Burk, yeah, Burkhard in New York. Jenny, what's your question? Uh, first of all, I want to tell you I absolutely loved the book. Um, I read it so fast over the weekend. Um, but my question for you is that when writing your books, do you know how they will end when you start? Or is it the writing process that guides you to the end? Ooh, that's a really good question. Yes. I'm, uh, I'm a discovery writer, so oh. I always start with the beginning and an ending, but the ending's really important, so I do know my ending. I don't write it, but I know, I think writing is 
as banking and spending emotional currency with yeah. the reader and with the series it'll be with the mm -hmm. viewer. And so I know what the ending's gonna be and I write towards it and I, I make up the juicy middle as I go. Yeah, oh, the right. juicy mi mi middle is so good. <laughs> now, a lot of people love your writing and they wanna know what you love reading. Ooh, so what yeah. are your book recommendations? Oh, one that I think, if you like this book, one that's a wonderful companion book is What My Bones Remember by Stephanie Fu. It is a book of, uh, it's a memoir about complex trauma. That sounds very heavy, and the yeah. book does have some searing, painful moments, but also joyful and humorous moments. And if we all have complicated family backstories, yes. and this book, it, it's just like a warm hug about mm. all of that. Uh, things that we've been trying to reconcile over the balance of our lives. Well, your book is filled with complicated, flawed, awesome women mm. who do whatever they can to make the lives of their daughters better. Mm. And it filled me with hope and joy. If you haven't read it and you have some time, I don't know what you're doing, um, get it right now. And for more of Jamie's book recommendations and to check out the many daughters of Afong Moy, go to today.com slash read with Jenna or today.com slash shop. don't forget you have a conversation with yes. Jamie. At 1130 p.m. And? Uh, no, a.m. Yeah. Today on Xfinity, which is part of our parent company, Comcast. I think there's tons of people that have signed up. You still have time. Yeah, and if you happen to be in New York, guys, yes. you can come to New York City tonight. Jenna and Jamie will be at Barnes & Noble. That's at Union Square, 7 p.m. Okay, awesome. I'll be there.